This is the first Halo Infinite mode that actually provides some good content. This guy spooked me, man. He's just creeping right around the side of the map like that. I was just trying to get camo, dude. Oh my God, Banshee, but no, 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 no! No, another one, no! They're all get taken. No, and the Wraith gets, oh, this is all I need to do now after that. Oh my God, that was nasty! <laughs> we get him, get him, get him. The yapping. So I thought we'd jump in and put some weird stuff and like talk about this event as a whole and see how, you know, this really kind of stacks up to content that you would expect to see in a live service Halo Infinite game. Well, like, gotta love this map and how people just hide in the back of the map the whole freaking time. And that's why. So the more I've been playing Breaker, the more and more I'm slowly starting to not like this map at all really because well that reason right there i feel like this map is really just kind of divided up into two sections and doesn't really allow much in the way of flanking i guess is the way i'm trying to say it because uh, everyone just kind of hides on their side of the map because if you push too far forward you're gonna come across like eight people staring down the hallway and well you don't want to be that person with eight people staring down at you but visually i would say breaker looks incredible there we go probably the best one of the best looking halo map halo infinite maps honestly I always struggle with trying to get the lead time with the sniper since it's a projectile in this game. I usually just play 4v4, so I don't really mess with a whole lot of big team battle. I mean, I'll, I'll play around occasionally, but like, ugh, damn. In 4v4, you don't really have to, like, lead your shots at all with the sniper rifle, so I think this is actually a great blend of the two where you still want projectiles, so you still have to, like, lead your shots at long ranges, but at closer range gunfights, especially in the 4v4 arena stuff, you don't really have to deal with that too much oh gosh oh gosh oh, well. because you're going to want to have that 4v4 gameplay be super snappy quick action you know point pinpoint accuracy is super needed honestly i've always kind of thought the way they do the sniper rifle in this game is something that i think would work out really well for well a battle royale burning chance because that would be awful in a battle royale large-scale mode that you would be able to have like a hit scan snipe rifle that could just pick people off from like across the map without having like leader shots which is super important to allow for more open areas to be able to be playable i mean the perfect example of projectile versus hit scan is blood gulch and valhalla compared to like ragnarok and in halo 4 where all the precision weapons were hit scanned on that game and you barely move around on that map but think of a map like hemorrhage as well right that hit scan dmr I mean, it's so difficult to really be able to... That's not a headshot, dude. Come on. Be able to move throughout the map. Same thing with, like, the H2A version of Coagulation. Same exact problem. Guys, right here. There he is. Oh, we got him. Bloodline in H2A it was just so campy because everyone spawned with battle rifles that were pinpoint accurate across the map without having to lead your shots. It made it really difficult, so what I'm trying to circle back in and saying I really like how they did the sniper rifle in Halo Infinite, where at long ranges, you definitely do need to lead your shots. And more close range, like 4v4, or you could just stand still and be amazing at shots. I don't know how, whatever, but <laughs> in the 4v4 game modes, you want it to be quick, snappy, and that's exactly what it this mo the sniper rifle plays out like. Now with the battle rifle, large scale modes in Halo Infinite, We'll have to wait and see because since it is a hit scan battle rifle, Jesus Christ, I'm getting completely dunked on. There we go, we finally got a kill. Oh, Jesus, the guy right there! <laughs> this guy spooked me, man. He's just creeping right around the side of the map like that. I was just trying to get camo, dude. There we go. That's a little spawn kill on that dude. Oh, come on, teammate, let me get that kill. Let me get that one too! What were your guys' thoughts on the map Breaker? And also how the sniper rifle works in this game. Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments. Especially on these viewed type of videos. Yeah, like, come on, like, the hit scan battle rifle, though. It's gonna be really interesting to see if they do implement, like, a battle royale, which is rumored to come out at the end of 2023. How's this guy get up here? Oh my god, get wrecked. Because in a large scale mode, the battle rifle is gonna be very, very powerful. I, I'm playing Social Slayer in this game. The battle rifle to me plays like a legitimate power weapon. It's so good. There we go. Also, this playlist too, you get a really good, good chance to see how the scope can really plays out. And damn, these guys are good. <laughs> now, personally, I'm a big fan of the scope glint nerf. And I'm not a fan of getting that L though, but. Hey, we'll see. We'll get in the next game and see what happens. So the shoddy snipes, it's a fun mode. Nothing too crazy, but it's also just kind of fun to have like large scale game, you know, 12 versus 12. Everyone has sniper rifles and shotguns, just kind of wacky stuff. 
So hopefully next game we'll get some more Fiesta type stuff. Let's jump into the next game here. There we go, big team Fiesta, some classic, just Slayer, crazy weapons. Hopefully we get something good, try to make some magic happen. Oh my god, I love my optic coating. I know I splurged again for another optic. Oh my god, Banshee, but no, 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 no! <laughs> Dude, that's, no, oh, another one, no! <laughs> They're all get taken! No, and the Wraith gets, oh. Uh, Dude, uh, was just, okay. This is all I need to do now after that. Just, this is what I need to do. The level of just sadness just hit me too hard on that one. But at least we got a shock rifle in here with the grapple shot. Let's see if we can make something crazy happen here. Oh my God, that was nasty. <laughs> oh my God, that was like one of the best shots I've ever done in this game. That was incredible. Yeah, now it feels like I have to come back to reality with a commando and the pulse car, man. But at least we got the arcane sentinel beam. This thing schmelts, dude. If you've never used this thing, oh my god. It's one of my favorite weapons to use in the campaign. Because, like, you get a squad full of marines with this weapon. Look at that. See, it just melted. You can put, like, a squad full of marines with uh, the arcane sentinel beam. You're gonna be putting in, the AI is gonna be putting in some work for you in that campaign. That's what you're so excited for co-op coming with this game too. With co-op coming in the uh, November update, it's gonna be really awesome to see what we can uh, pull up as a community when it comes to cool stuff in the game. It was spawn with rockets this time. Let's see if we can make some weird stuff happen. There is a wasp right next to me, which does concern me quite a bit. We get him, get him, get him. Yes! <laughs> Oh, like, you gotta love that in this game where you fire off like a long distance rocket shot and it just flies across the map and then you actually land it. Oh, one way trip for you there, buddy. Ooh, we got ourselves a uh, variant of the soccer rifle. Okay. If I remember correctly, this one just shoots like super fast or something. Well, this thing's too so much faster. Woo, that's nasty. I do really like how they put, added in the weapon variants into this game mode as well. It's just like, the, the something that Halo Infinite needs so badly. It's just like some more casual, random-y kind of just fun. That's one thing I think this game just really is missing. It's so just standard Halo that we need to kind of like expand on what you really can do with this franchise. Because everything else until then, until now, has been so serious, I feel like, like with other events. Like, I can't remember what the Winter Contingency was, but I don't think it was anything that crazy. Uh, one that comes to my mind is like the, with the tactical ops event, right? We got a sniper, we got the, uh, the skewer and the rockets in this one. Right in the tactical ops event, it was just, you know, SWAT. Which is kind of just like something we've had in Halo since, what, Halo, oh, Halo 2? Like, it, it's nothing too crazy, really. And the other, other kind of game I they brought up, it's not really that exciting, that, you know, to me at least. Though, so, it does seem like things are kind of starting to improve a bit when it comes to the game mode and like having more variety in there. And then I kill that guy. With the covert flag coming out, which seems to be a kind of like an interesting like little flag variant kind of mode. There we go. I definitely will be playing. I mean, it doesn't really excite me a whole lot to play, but definitely has my interest. One thing about this mode too is that you get a chance to play around with the sandbox a lot more. I think it's, it's probably why People are loving the Yappany so much because you actually get a chance to play around with the sandbox in this game. That's actually a close game, 90 to 88. Jeez. Can't step it up here. Oh, no, God, no. No, yes. Oh, clutch play with the Rockets. Keeping the lead. There we go. We got a dub. That was a close match, man. I swear this is a new game. We just got Fiesta on high power again, which... Again, kind of, I think, highlights some of the issues when it comes to the content in this game, where there's nearly not enough BTB maps. I mean, there's only, what, four of them right now? So that's not a whole lot. But I kind of want to dive back in when I was talking about earlier about the limited time modes in Halo Infinite and how they've been pretty, honestly, just, like, boring for the most part. Nothing too exciting, nothing where we can want to jump back in and play. Like, you look at Tenrai, it was just Fiesta. And when he did that, it really just kind of felt like holding back content so then they can call it a special mode or whatever where in reality it's just like some basic mode that we've had in halo forever then calling it a limited mode is just like just doesn't sit well with me man it just doesn't oh my god i was close but didn't catch me quite yet there we go entrenched event right with with land grab not that interesting of a mode either to be honest it just kind of feels like it's kind of like Strongholds, but just like a different variation of it, which it's still a fun mode. I genuinely do really like uh, Land Grab. I think it's a really fun mode. It's just that 
It doesn't really make you go like, oh, I gotta jump in and play Halo again. Ah, oh, we got that guy there at least. How oh, can we sneak up on this guy here? Oh, can we get this tank? Wait, let's get this, let's get this, oh, we're about to steal this bad boy right here, there we go. I'm getting extra, oh no. <laughs> Come on, man, I wanted to do something cool and he just had to stop me like that, bruh. Like, I know stealing the tank was probably the better idea, but stealing that wasp just felt way more cool. And so with the yapping being something different, and like, yeah, it's just kind of Fiesta, but with a twist on it. But at this scale, it just feels totally different than like regular Fiesta we had like back in the, uh, the Tenrai event. Where is this guy going? Did he just fall off the map? He just fell off the map. <laughs> So I did see some of the leaks about the Japanese saying we were gonna have like Kong Slayer, Purple Rain or something like that or some other kind of leaked out modes that just never really came to fruition. I think Kong Slayer would be hilarious where everyone just spawns with a fusion coil and you just try to kill somebody. Now, is that something that you actually can pull off in like custom game settings when it comes to Halo Infinite? I don't know. I would love to see that be a possibility though. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah, bank shot. I don't know how it honestly would play, especially with matchmaking thrown into it. It would just be kind of like, I don't know. I think it'd just be so just random chaotic that like either it could be really fun or it would be extremely annoying to play against. So I definitely at first play, it would be hilarious. But again, like, that's kind of what I was touching on. That I think that's what Halo Infinite really needs more of. It's just kind of like those wacky, fun social modes, like an action sack type playlist, but like for an event. But right now, like I feel like we're just kind of in a holding pattern right now, just kind of waiting for something cool to come with the winter update. We got co-op, we got Forge, I'll be doing tons of content on that stuff. Especially on co-op, dude, if you ever never played the co-op flight for Halo Infinite, oh, you're missing out, dude. It was so much fun. After playing Halo Infinite's campaign co-op, you realize like, wow, this campaign was actually designed for co-op and this is like the worst freaking commando I've ever used. I was playing Legendary with some just me and a buddy of mine. We we're just playing some campaign and I was like yeah I'll hop on for like an hour you know so I can like because he's like I was busy that day but I was like fair I'll play a little bit and then turns out like three four hours later I was like oh my god I need to get back to work. I realized to double it. So one of the developers said in one of the updates right that the uh the boxes where you call in all your equipment and stuff like that. The reason why there's four boxes is not just because you can have more chances to call in more stuff, it's because it's literally designed with co-op in mind. Oh no you don't buddy, I heard that it's grapple shot coming in. Oh no! Why is it when I feel like I got something awesome coming my way, somebody with camo comes in and ruins my day. I'll save you buddy! I'll save you! But yeah, I'm hoping for the winter update that would bring something awesome for us to play, guys. I mean, the Reach Armor sets do look amazing because, well, the Reach Armor sets and the still one of the best, if not the best, art styles that Halo's ever had. Come on. Oh my god, how did I get that kill? Well, I definitely will be playing that a bunch. I'll definitely get all the tiers. I mean, CQB's coming in. I know a lot of you guys in the chat are really excited about CQB. I see quite often, like, where's my CQB? So if you like these types of videos, make sure to tap that like button, subscribe if you want to see some more content or stay up to date with everything going on with Halo and gaming. Check out this video right here. I made a cool video talking about Call of Duty and how you should be kind of concerned about Modern Warfare 2. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.